Hi everyone, Jamie True here, Head of Business Development at Simple UK, here with another Friday tip of the week. This week we're going to answer some of the most frequently asked questions, which is, how does the lock work and is it compatible with my door? So we're going to start off with how the lock works. As you can see here, I've got the Slim Series one-sided lock on my front door and you'll see that from the inside to the outside, the lock is always open. So I'll just be able to pull that down and get to the outside. But from the outside to the inside, you can see that if I pull the handle down, nothing happens. It won't engage this latch until I put my thumbprint on in which it will then start to engage. After a couple of seconds, it will say locked and then it won't work it again. So that's how the lock manages to uh, keep secure from the outside, but not from the inside. Now, if you've got children, or if you're worried about having a letterbox or something that someone can reach through and you're worried about them being able to pull the handle down from the inside and open your door, we do have a solution for that, which is our double-sided smart lock. Now, the double-sided smart lock looks exactly the same as this. However, to get outside from the inside, I will either need to open the lock using the TT Lock app on my phone, or you can order one of our remote controls on our website, which is just a really small um, sort of plastic remote control that I would recommend sticking somewhere like that next to the lock, which is out of reach of children, out of reach of anyone that might be able to get it, uh, their hand through the door, uh, and you'll be able to just put in a code or however you want to open the door. So, the next question that everyone asks is, is it compatible? Now you can see here that this is a standard multi-lock point uh, UPVC door. So the first question people ask is, does, does it, um, will it work with a multi-lock door? The answer is yes. Now, as you can see here, this is a multi-lock door. And if I lift the handle from the inside, that will engage the hooks, which will then connect to the protective plate on the door frame. Now this is also going to work from the other side. So when you shut the door and lift it, you've got that peace of mind with those multi-lock um, hooks engaging and adding that extra layer of security. Now we fit uh, and integrate with 90% of doors in the country. There's only a few select cases that our locks won't work. One of the really key things to look out for is if you have an offset spindle. Now the spindle is the small piece of uh, metal that connects, goes through the door and connects each handle to each other. Now if you have an offset spindle, this could cause a problem for integration. If you're not sure though, it's not a problem. Take a photo, take a video of the spindle you've got and you can either send that to our WhatsApp chat, which you'll find on our website, or to our support email, which is just support at simpled.uk and we'll be able to tell you for sure whether we integrate uh, with that door or not. We've also made a couple of changes to the product itself to make this as easy as possible for you to retrofit yourself um, and fit as many doors as possible. One of them being the cable length. Now some doors are obviously deeper than others so this is the standard cable length but included with your lock you'll have this cable extender which plugs into this side here, and as you can see, greatly increases the length of the cable for you to be able to put through and connect to the other side of the handle. Another thing is the, um, this section here, which actually holds the spindle. Now, this is a really key, uh, key feature, um, an important thing to consider when you're installing this lock. You see that little arrow that's on the spindle casing? that needs to be facing towards the handle when you install this. So that's just a, a really key thing to remember, a little bit off topic, and we will have a full installation guide coming out shortly, which they'll cover this in more detail. But for now, I just wanted to let you know really quickly that if you're gonna install one of these, make sure that the arrow is facing towards the handle. Now, the, uh, the feature here, which this is stub, uh, and these are the bolts which are included in your lock. Now what these are used for is going into this bit here. And what this does is it allows you to put the screw in and then use the stud 
to screw onto here. And once that's fully tightened, I won't do it for this video, but once that's fully tightened, that will allow you to tighten that, put that on there, tighten it, and have that screw wherever you need it. This means that if your holes in your door um, for, the, for the screw length are in def uh, different positions to somebody else's, shouldn't be a problem because you have this section here which allows you to actually um, choose where the screw is going to, to attach onto the handle. The lower stub here just screws on like so, and that will have plenty of room to go through the door because you don't need the Euro cylinder lock, which is where your key normally goes in um, for this lock to work. So you'll have a, a nice gap there, which has plenty of space for that bottom stub to go through, okay? It's also worth remembering that with each order, you get your physical keys and your fobs included. So just to remind you again, where this, uh, the physical key goes in. This is the outside lock. It's underneath, which is great because it's not as visible for anyone who might try and do something like pick the lock. And that key will just go in there and turn and unlock the lock. There's also the other section there, which is for uh, a power bank emergency charge. So if you're, you have an electrical fault for, for whatever reason, or you've allowed the batteries to run low uh, and run out, you can use that to plug a power bank in to get a really quick bit of charge to be able to get through your door and change those batteries. So that's all of the, um, the, the sort of main questions that we get when it comes to whether it's compatible with your door and whether um, it, and, and how the lock actually works itself from the outside. I'm, we're gonna be doing many more of these videos, so keep, uh, keep watching. I'm sure if you've got any, any additional questions that we haven't covered in this video, you can always contact us on either the WhatsApp or our number or the support email address. That's it for this Friday's tip of the week. Thank you very much and I'll see you next week.